Smith Machine calf raises, very good option if you don't have access to either a leg press to train your calves or an actual calf raise machine. Otherwise, if you don't have one of these, you're limited to kind of holding like a weight in your hand while you do calf raises, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. If you have a Smith Machine, it's much better. So elevating your heels on two plates. Now, because of the way these plates are rounded, it's going to angle your feet in different positions, which is, depending on the angle, going to train slightly different parts of your calf. Soleus, gastroc, doesn't really matter for most people. Just be aware that if you have something straight, probably a little bit better because then you can actually put your feet straight on and then angle it accordingly. In this one, you're forced to have this little bit of internal rotation at the ankle, okay? So feet are going to be pointed slightly in just through necessity, okay? What you're going to do is just obviously set the bar up like this, unrack the bar, down into a nice deep stretch at the bottom, drive up into a nice tight squeeze at the top. Your hands are sort of irrelevant, like really, they don't need to be doing a huge amount. If it's a wee bit uncomfortable, like it is for myself because I have a bit of shoulder issues, hands wider, hands over the top, Hands fucking free, but don't do the hands free. It's probably not a great idea. So down, nice deep stretch. Drive up, squeeze. Down, nice deep stretch. Drive up, squeeze, just like that. Tempo is key here. Don't want to be going too quick. Don't want to be going too slow. If you are freakishly tall and you're not able to do that in a Smith machine because the machine is hitting the roof, try it like this, okay? Try it just with that grip there. You're going to find that it's very, very, very similar, okay? Just like this. Same thing applies, no real difference, okay? So, that is a Smith Machine calf raise.